we have seen in laminar flow the equation of shear stress the equation of velocity pressure gradient and pressure gradient and average velocity now let us apply all this equation to solve real life problems a lubricating oil of viscosity 1 poise and specific gravity 0.9 is pumped through a 30 mm diameter pipe if the pressure drop per unit length is 20 kN per meter square we have to determine what is volume flow rate or that is actually what is discharge q we have to calculate the shear stress at the pipe walls tau at small r equals to small r equals to diameter by 2 so that is d by 2 and reynolds number of the flow that is re so all these three values we have to calculate so before solving any problem on laminar flow we know that now we are doing problems on laminar flow but sometimes there will be uh, problems which are mixed cannot differentiate into laminar flow or turbulent flow for that the important part is we first calculate the Reynolds number and the things associated with that okay so let us calculate the Reynolds number of this entire part and write down the data which we know so from here first thing which we know is the viscosity second is the specific gravity third is the third is the diameter of the pipe and the fourth is the pressure gradient which they have given to you so let us write down the data which we know so first data which we know that is viscosity so first data that is a mu is equals to how much that is one poise that is equals to 0.1 pascal seconds the second thing which we know that is specific gravity specific gravity is sg that is 0 0.9 then the density will be equals to 9000 kg per meter cube we know that density of a fluid upon density of water is what is specific gravity density of water is we assume that is 1000 we multiply by 9.81 we get density of the oil next part is the diameter which we know that is equals to 30 mm that is 30 into 10 to power minus 3 meters and the next data which we know that is pressure gradient that is dou p by dou x is equals to 20 kilonewton per meter square now here what we have to calculate first first we are going to calculate we have to find First, we will calculate whether the flow is a laminar flow or turbulent flow that will be given by the Reynolds number. Now, formula of Reynolds number is rho V D by mu or rho U bar U bar D by mu V. V can be written as U bar. We will write down this separately rho U bar D by mu. Now that is the first part which we need to calculate. Second part from the problem we need to calculate is the is the volume flow rate and the third part we need to calculate is the shear stress. So let us write down that is the volume flow rate that is Q that is area of cross section into U bar and the third part is a shear stress tau at R is equals to D by 2. So these are the three things which we which are unknown. Now, if you see for the first part Reynolds number, we know the value of rho, we know the value of d, we know the value of mu, but the only thing which is remaining over here is u bar. Now, first let us calculate the value of u bar. So u bar that is the average velocity we know that that is equals to minus 1 upon 8 mu that is dou p by dou x into capital R square so this is the value of u bar let us substitute this as minus 1 upon 8 mu mu has a value of 0 0.1 dou p by dou x form the formula they have given to you as 
20 kilo newton per meter square we have to convert that into newton per meter square so 20 into 10 to power 3 newton per meter square will take the value of dou p by dou x so that is 20 into 10 to power 3 newton per meter square and the radius is 15 to the 10 to power minus 3 the whole square that is given to you in terms of diameter if diameter is 30 mm and the radius is equals to 15 mm and that will be equals to 15 into 10 to power minus 3 meters so now we'll substitute this part now we have substituted and plugged in all the values and u comes out to be 5.625 meters per second that is the value of u now once we calculate value of u all the other things can be easily calculated first part we need to calculate is the reynolds number rho u d by mu so that is equals to value of rho is given to you as 900 u is equals to 5.625 d has a value of 30 into 10 to power minus 3 upon mu is equals to 0.1 now once this is done what we will calculate the reynolds number once we plug in the value which comes out to be 1518.75 which is still less than 2000 and hence the flow will be a laminar flow so we have calculated the reynolds number which is less than 2000 and the flow is laminar flow now next part we need to calculate what is discharge so to calculate discharge we have to write down formula for q now q will be equals to area of cross section into average velocity that is pi by 4 d square into average velocity so this is pi by 4 into d so this is 30 into 10 to power minus 3 square into u bar that is 5.625 so after calculating this so the flow rate comes out to be 3.98 into 10 to power minus 3 meter cube per second so this is the entire flow rate this can be converted into meter cube per minute or kg per minute by multiplying density and dividing by 60 seconds then next we have to calculate what is next uh, let us see what we have to calculate next we have to calculate what is tau at r is equals to d by 2 now tau at r is equals to d by 2 for that we need the formula for shear stress now shear stress tau is given as minus of dou p by dou x into minus of dou p by dou x into that is r by 2 so this is a dou p by dou x is according to our formula that is 20 into 10 to power 3 into r over here is 15 into 10 to power minus 3 divided by 2 so the tau shear stress comes out to be 150 newton per millimeter square at r is equals to at r is equals to capital r note that in this problem we have not considered the negative sign over here as well as while calculating while calculating the value of value of velocity this negative sign is taken care by minus dou p by dou x so hence in initially when we write the data over here so there only we will write this has a value of minus dou p by dou x hence this will be positive throughout actually negative gradient means what as we go ahead the pressure is going to decrease so that is what it represents so we won't get into detail of this entire part or rather we can say that the Reynolds number or rather uh, will not get into detail of that entire part because this part in magnitude will be equals to this this in this part u bar will be equals to dou p by dou x into 1 upon 8 mu into r square will be equals to uh, will be equals to 5.65 in magnitude but dou p by dou x and u bar will be in opposite direction 
I hope you have understood what is how to apply these equations to solve real life problems on laminar flow. Thank you.